tank works have teamed up with CatSwift to create highly parametric BIM content for their complete water tank range, available in both Archicad and Revit. Here we will demonstrate the Archicad content. Functionality of the Revit content is exactly the same. The Tankworks range includes a slimline, round, square, mod line, and the Stockman water tank, which is a large tank designed specifically for rural applications. All these water tanks can be customized in relation to length, width, and height factors. They are available in many different color bond colors. The base of color bond range includes paper bark, galvanized steel, power eucalypt, and wind spray. There is also a range of 17 painted color bond colors, which include colors such as manor red, cottage green, and deep ocean. Tankwork products, and hence the BIM objects, include multiple options for crucial plumbing connections. The outlet and overflow can be positioned in 12 different locations on all different tank products. For the inlet connection, there are various settings depending on the product. For the slimline tank, there are three options, A, B, and C. For the modline tank, the options are the same. For the round and stockman water tanks, there are 12 inlet options, similar to the outlet and overflow positioning options. And for the square water tank, there are four position options. For each of these connections, there are also various size options. The inlet can be a 400 or 500 mil diameter, the outlet, which is a BSP connection, can range from 25mm to 150mm. The overflow, which is a simple PVC pipe connection, can range from 90mm to 225mm. As is to be expected, there are standard 2D and 3D representation options. We also have included section fills for the tank and the slab independently. Obviously, this is crucial for the concrete slab. In the 3D representation, there are also detail controls. As you can appreciate, the curve elements of the corrugated tank will create quite a number of polygons. So, we have included a resolution control. Currently set at 36. We'll pull this down to just to demonstrate. Okay. And you can see how that affects the resolution of the curve. We also have a standard 3D detail function where you can just simply nominate simple and that'll get rid of the curve altogether. As is standard on all CAD Swift parts, we have a unique annotation function. There are two aspects to this, a main text and a height text. You can turn either of these texts on and off, and you can also control their visibility using scale functions. For the main text, you can nominate ID or a custom input. And for the height text, you can nominate the prefix. The height text reads the positioning of the object in relation to Project Zero. Okay, now let's have a look at this object in the 2D and 3D environments. In the 3D environment, there are a few things to note. Firstly, for each of these connection elements, there is a hotspot. This will allow you to very easily connect any piping elements. You'll also notice that there are a series of movable hotspots. In the 3D window, these hotspots control the length, width, and height factors. This one at the top obviously controls the height, select it, and it'll adjust the height incrementally. Likewise, down the base here, we have the length control and the width control. Have a look at it in 2D. I'll just move it out into a bit of space. As you can see, the 2D text elements are showing up. There's a movable hotspot for them. I'll just turn them off. Now you can clearly see we have the length and width hotspots also in 2D. We also have hotspots for the concrete slab to adjust the offsets. Select this, adjust it manually, or type in the desired offset. If you need further information, you can just go to the info page and click on this image which is a link to the Tankworks website. We hope you enjoy using the Tankworks BIM content by CatSwift on your next project.